What's up, functional bodybuilders? I'm talking B stance hip thrust today. A B stance, uh, something that Brett Contreras, I believe, coined, is a way of basically doing a hybrid hip thrust, single leg hip thrust. So the hip thrust exercise with two feet on the ground is a great targeted glute exercise, hip exercise, and you're pressing through both heels. The single leg hip thrust would be me taking this leg off the ground and then doing all the work on one hip, one glute. This progression from double to single leg is quite challenging and difficult. It requires a lot of balance and it can be a little awkward. And when we're really just trying to focus on one side versus the other, you don't need to make that dramatic a progression. You can actually move to something called the B stance. So by offsetting my feet, putting one foot out in front, what I effectively have done is I've taken 80% of the load and put it onto this leg. There's about 20% load on this side, which is simply there for balance and coordination. Then I'm doing the same mechanics where I'm keeping my chin tucked, I'm keeping my pelvis tucked, and I'm just squeezing through the glutes. Now, a lot of contraction here, just a minimal contraction on my left side. You don't need to actually think contract more on one side versus the other the stance does that for you and as a matter of fact had i put my leg out completely straight for balance this would be more like 90 percent 10 percent versus this which is like 80 20. Um, my last point on this one is that you know when you're doing a b stance or single leg work on a hip thrust or really anything for that matter you always want to focus on doing the weaker leg or the weaker side first in your working set. So if you have a set of 12 to 15 reps to do on each leg, and you know your, your left side is a little bit weaker, always do your first 10, excuse me, 12 to 15 reps on your weak side, then take the necessary short break and switch to the stronger side. This will help you over time bring more intensity to the weaker side, therefore helping bring up the strength of that weaker side and find balance. I hope this helped you understand the B stance, understand a little bit about the hip thrust mechanics so that you can do a better job next time. If you've got questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll see you soon.